Hello everyone, welcome to this YouTube channel. Myself Roslyn, I am working as a SharePoint developer in TS Info Technologies. In this video, we will learn about SharePoint Online Link Web Part and the SharePoint Online Quick Links Web Part. And these are the headings that we are going to cover in this video. Initially, we will see about SharePoint Online Link Web Part and the SharePoint Online Quick Link Web Part and how we can configure the link web part as well as the quick link web part to our modern SharePoint site page and how we can hide the link and link preview in the link web part as well as in the quick link web part in the modern SharePoint site page. What is SharePoint Online Link Web Part? Using the SharePoint Online Link Web Part, we can easily add the single link URL to our modern SharePoint site page and we can use the link web part for the images, videos, pages and documents to navigate to the particular section of the page and we can also mention the internal url as well as the external url in the sharepoint online link web part these are the two options that we can add the links in the link web part and also it easily redirects to the mentioned url with the single tick or the single selection of the mentioned url it will be easily redirect to the particular site and when you add the link web part to a modern sharepoint site page and this is how it looks like now i will show you how to add the link web part into the modern sharepoint site page as well as how we can edit the link web part initially log in to the microsoft office home and select the sharepoint application and select the site page where you want to add the link web part. In this example, I'm going to choose the communication site page. Click on the communication site page. And here you can see the edit option over here. Click on the edit option and choose the sec sections that you want to add. Here I'm going to choose the on column section layout and search for the link option over here and choose the link option here. And you can see the link web part has been added to our modern SharePoint site page. Here, paste the URL for which you want to redirect or navigate to this site. In this example, I am going to choose the Enjoy SharePoint site. Here, I am going to paste the URL. You can see the preview is loading. You can see the preview has been loaded and it looks like this. Click on the republish icon. You can see the link has been added to the link web part. Select the link. It re redirects to the mentioned URL here. This is how we can add the link web part to our modern SharePoint site page. Now click on the edit icon to edit the link web part. Click on here you can see the edit icon presented here to edit the link web part. Click on that. Here you can see three options over there. Link title, description and display link. Now in the link title, either you can provide the link title as per the requirement. Here I am going to change the title. A SharePoint site. If you want to change the description also we can change it and if you want to enable the display link option then we can enable it. If you want to dis disable the link option we can disable it. When you enable it you can see the link is presented over here and when you disable it you can see the link has been hidden. Now click on the republish icon so that the changes will be appear in the modern SharePoint site page. Here you can see the link has been added and the title has been changed as SharePoint site. When you click here, as usual it redirects to the mentioned URL. So this is how we can add and edit the link web part in the modern SharePoint site page. Now we will see what is SharePoint Online Quick Links web part. It allows user to redirect to the mentioned URL and in the Quick Link web part we can add more than a single URL. And it is also possible to add the Quick Link web part to our modern SharePoint team site as well as the modern SharePoint communication site. But it is not available on the classic SharePoint site. And also we can use the Quick Link web part for the documents, videos, pages and images to navigate to the mentioned URL. Now I will show you how we can add the Quick Link web part and edit the Quick Link web part in the modern SharePoint site page. When you add the Quick Link web part, this is how the Quick Link web part looks like. By default, it will be looked in the compact layout and we can also change the layout to the film strip layout or button layout. These are the layout options presented. I will explain it and I will show you in the site page. Here, if you want to change the title of this added link, you can change under the title option and you can also provide the thumbnail over here 
by default it will be in the auto selector mode if you want to add custom image you can select the custom image in the same way you can also choose icon if you want to change the icon you can click on the change icon and choose any of this icon from the icon section if you don't want click on the cancel option if you want to delete it you can click on the delete option if you want to choose any custom images you can select the image and click on the insert option you can see the image has been added as a thumbnail image and if you want to delete this image click on the delete option it will be deleted and in this example i am going to leave it as auto selected image one as a thumbnail image this is how we can add the thumbnail image and title for the added link in the same way we can add more than a one link here i am going to choose the python guides click on the add icon you can see the python guides link has been added to the quick link web part in the same way i am going to add few more links in the quick link web part here you can see i have added few more links image links to the quick link web part click on the edit web part icon over here and you can see the layout options presented here by default it will be in the compact layout if you want to change it as a film strip layout you can see it changes to the film strip layout option and when you click on this icon you can see the remaining mentioned urls are also presented in the quick link web part and you can also choose the grid layout and button layout looks like this list layout and the tiles layout and for tiles layout you can choose the icon size as a small medium large extra large or full space it changes according to the selected option we can also enable and disable if you want to show only icon or image we can enable it if not we can disable it click on the replish icon so that the changes will be reflected to the modern sharepoint site page this is how we can add and edit the quick click web part to our modern sharepoint site page so we have learned how we can add and edit the link web part in the modern sharepoint site page as well as how we can add and edit the quick link web part in the modern sharepoint site page and also what are the different layouts presented in the modern sharepoint site page now if you select this link it redirects to the mentioned url this is how it works now i will show you how we can hide link or link preview in the links web part select the link web part here you can see click on the edit icon enable the disable link option and select the link and click on the backspace icon from your keyboard the link will be hidden and the link preview also be hidden this is how we can hide the link or hide the link preview in the link web part in modern sharepoint now click on the republish icon you can see the link is not showing in the modern sharepoint site page with this we came to the end of this video thanks for watching this video if you like this video please click on the like button and do subscribe to our youtube channel thank you